This afternoon I've left the studio for a walk in a cemetery because soon it's October and that rhymes on Inktober. And this year I want to do something new. I want to create some ink from a mushroom. The mushroom is called Shag Ink Cap. In Latin it's called Coprinus Comatus. And the season supposedly should be between August and October. And now it's soon September, so it's the perfect season for it. I've read that it likes to grow in small or large groups, either on lawns and fields, along roads and forests where there's a disturbed um, soil, which means that it's a place where the soil is kind of taken care of. And um, it suits perfectly for this cemetery here. And supposedly this mushroom here, um, the shaggy ink cap grows in the cemetery. Um, mushrooms are amazing. I love to catch mushrooms. Uh, I've only tried to look for the edible ones, so this is something new. What I do know though is that mushrooms are experts in hiding for people. But there's actually quite many here on the cemetery already I've seen. So uh, I'm quite optimistic about this one. Let's go hunt some mushrooms. walking around for about 20 minutes now with my eyes peeled to the ground I haven't spotted anything yet um, well not the shaggy ink cap at least but I've seen lots of other mushrooms in here so I'm very excited to see if I can find any but the atmosphere here is wonderful I'll tell you that the silence and the birds I think I found it. Let's just see. It's not it. Maybe this is the place where the shaggy ink cap rose. Let's just see here. How does it look? Uh, oh, it's very close. It really looks like it, but it's not it. I don't think so. Because it's supposed to have these hairy scale on the top and it doesn't. Well, I guess it's true what they say. Mushrooms are experts at hiding from people. After one and a half hour of searching, I haven't found a single um, shaggy ink cap. Well, it was a lovely trip to the cemetery, but unfortunately no shaggy mane or shaggy ink cap. But something very interesting happened yesterday. My girlfriend happened to find a perfect exemplary of this shaggy mane. So right now, this morning, I'm here and I'm about 50 meters away from the exemplary. And I'm really looking forward to see it and to see if any people have kicked it or in another way vandalized it because some people do that. If luck is with us, we will get to see the shaggy mane. The place where the mushroom grows is a textbook example. We are in a rich soil. We are in a park close to a trail. It can be found in the woods, but apparently it seems to be more common in inhabited areas. And here it is, everybody, and I become the happiest person just by the mere look of it. According to my girlfriend, it has actually transformed quite a lot from just yesterday. Having its cap unfolded and the inking process is definitely started. To make sure that this is really the one, I'll go through my mushroom book just to see if everything is right. It should be between 5 and 15 centimeters long, check. It has a cylindrical shape, check. It has a hat or a cap that is cone shaped or when unfolded like a large umbrella, check. It has a rough looking cap with hairy scales, check. Its colors range from warm white to brown reddish, check. This one even has a purplish hue to it because it's overripe. 
what was really the most important thing about this example here and what I will be using it for is that the brim of the cap is black. It shows me that it has started this process of turning into an ink-like substance. So it's perfect for my purpose. After having picked this uh, example here, I spot some more actually and then take them along as well. A plastic box as this is suitable, otherwise you risk having ink all over in your bag or your backpack. So I'm back in the kitchen and I'm still high on finding not only one but five shaggy manes which are just perfect. I have them here in my box and um, now I already have to put them in the refrigerator and then just wait for three or four days to, to really make the ink process um, make them really nice and inky. And uh, then I'm gonna blend them and then hopefully I'll have some beautiful ink. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to make sure that you will see how this ink is gonna be like in the color and how it is to draw and paint with. I just wanna say thank you for tagging along and have a great day. See you soon.